Hey, this is Arlene. So I am on my um, morning walk. And I just wanted to do a uh, really quick video on that. So I actually got a lot of... Um, oh, so this guy parked his truck here. So anyways, I actually got a lot of... Um, targeting today but not necessarily frequencies <coughs> so I got some in this corner somewhere in this area and um, anyways um, the other thing that's happening is that I'm getting like super duper uh, burp in the hands so I can go to sleep and only my hands will be burned so I'm not sure like if a chemicals been put on my gloves or what but anyways it is what it is and um, there's nothing I can really do with it about it so anyways also Um, I think what a lot of people don't realize is that there is a California stalking law and they need to read the definition of it <coughs> and understand it because there are some people that do not realize there is one so Because if you, if I perceive you to fit the description, I'm going to do a video about it. And if you don't like it, well, we can both go to the police department and you could say why you're following me, why you're peeking in my bathroom window, why you choose to stand and smoke cigarettes by my apartment door. why I see you all the time. So anyways, I'm on my morning walk going south on Wilton. So, another thing that's happened is, of course, I'm still blocked from using well, I actually have a hacker blocking me from using a uh, Periscope. And that is specifically when I do live streams of me sleeping in frequencies. So obviously, somebody doesn't want me to do videos of me sleeping in frequencies. Now, once in a great while, I will do one of my feet or myself, but I notice those get blocked too. Now, this all started in the beginning of November and has continued. Now, I can use a live stream, but specifically, not when I'm walking, not when I'm sleeping in frequencies at all. Um, also, um, <clears throat> not when I'm sleeping in frequencies and when I go for my walk. Those are the two hot topics that I um, cannot do it. And so I have no choice but to um, do the so anyways I have no choice but to do it on video 
and I also have to lot the time that if my video gets messed up, I have to go back and re-video, which is fine because right now I have to lose my COVID weight. So there have been times where I have to go back and I've had to um, reshoot my videos and it's just something that um, I've gotten used to and just something that happens so I do have to do that and um, it is what it is So like say for instance, if I do this video and something happens to it and it's then I would automatically uh, go back and um, redo it. That's what I would do. <clears throat> so it is October the 11th, 2020. Actually, it's not that cold. It's kind of getting warm. <laughs> and I'm actually getting um, zapped in, in this direction to my breasts and to my stomach. I don't know if it's the cars or what. <clears throat> But it's having happening off to my right. So we're going south on um, Wilson Avenue. Um, the next street is Melrose.
how far did I go? Probably not a mile yet. I guess the one good thing is by using my camera is if anything happens I could go back to it versus if I were using my live stream on Periscope or Twitter and it gets hacked by a hacker blocks it well I have no access to it it's there I just don't have access to it <coughs> so that would be one thing but as I mentioned, it could get screwed up and I have to realize when I'm on my walk and I'm doing a video and if it um, doesn't work, I just have to go back and reshoot it. <laughs> and I could use the exercise. <coughs> So right now my right hip is getting targeted. I'm not sure if it's from my own iPhone, from the charging port, or if it's actually coming off to the left, the west. So I'm on Wilton and um, Melrose, and I think I'm gonna go west of Melrose. Asteria La Buca. There's a line for takeout, so they must have really good pizza, because I noticed the line is for pizza. It's a beautiful day. And this is like a perfect example of, um, well, you might as well go now. You're all the way in front. No, that's intentional. A E X H one seven three. He doesn't realize I'm recording, and hopefully um, the hacker doesn't erase all this. So I'll just do it again. That's all I can do. So we're going um, west on um, Malrose. And this street coming up is Ridgewood Place. So I get so, uh, this to where they pose like that, I guess to make, uh, make you think that um, something's going on. I think that's the same guy again. But um, I think he's just getting paid to do it. I just don't know, why well, not paid, but probably a gift card. How much do you get a gift card to do it? I don't know.
so we're on Van Ness and um, Melrose. So if you cross, there is a Paramount Studios. <coughs> Another thing that continues to happen, and um, I'm in a deep sleep when I go to sleep, so I don't know what happens. Um, for all I know, I could be removed from my apartment. I just don't know. Because anything's possible when you have money to do things in targeting. I know that much. So anyways... I've had a lot of throat problems. I've even gone to a specialist. And the thing is, is that I don't go back because the last time that I went to the specialist, I had the appointment, I had to see another girl who was a new hire. My appointment was like on a Monday or Tuesday, and the guy quit on Friday. I've had three occasions when it came to meeting with specialists like because I got a referral where <clears throat> they have abruptly left and all of a sudden they gave me someone else or they hired someone else and I've always questioned that because why would you abruptly quit you know and then Another interesting thing that happened, my mom, we found a really good doctor. And after she had been with him like, like maybe two months or something, he announced he was gonna retire. Maybe retire and go into another field. But I just thought that was interesting. But in my situation, is three times. One was the throat specialist, one was for the foot, and I think the other one was for the knee. And all those times, bam, they quit. And the only reason why I know is because the office called and uh, told me. The engines say, um, like on the times I called, the girl called and she didn't say he's no longer with us, but actually said he quit, he left. He left the practice. And so I got these notifications like within, I would say, um, four to five days including if it was a weekend notification I mean it was just like that bam it happened and for two of them for the foot and the knee I actually canceled and I never went back then for the throat I went and the thing is with the throat is you could see my throat is pink and you can see the other side is like a brown like burnt and she tells me because they went through the camera with the uh, um, nose um, camera camera through the nose it's very obvious there was a problem but then I was just like you know what this girl it's not even worth coming back here so that's one problem if you go to a specialist <clears throat> like my knees my right knee especially that's when the one I had a referral to um, have surgery on it and um, I didn't I didn't uh, go see the doctor actually I was a no-show because the one I was supposed to see <coughs> quit 
and left the practice. So there was another one, but I don't think I wanted to go to him. I didn't even know him. So I just figured I'll just put Tiger Balm and stuff. And that's it. If I have to walk with the lane or cane, I'd rather do that than go wander and God knows what they do. <clears throat> oh, there's a cute little kitty cat. Poor thing. I hope someone's feeding it. And it's so cold at night. So we're going north on Vanessa. And, um, yeah, so that's basically what happened. I don't have very much good luck with the uh, uh, specialist. And then another thing that happened is um, <coughs> um, when I went to the throat specialist, like when I breathe, you can hear a whistle like there's a hole and thankfully when I went to my doctor and she used this decilcope, death cyscope, she could hear it too and right away I got the referral and the thing is about that is um, it's still there I don't even think whatever hole it is has closed up at all so, um, it's green. I don't know why that guy was sitting there. <coughs> Anyways, um, so when I eat finely chopped salad or rice, um, I have to like really be careful because there's been a few times where I've like choked. One time I choked really bad and <clears throat> I like couldn't breathe anything and I was starting to panic because it got to that point where you know you're not getting enough air and then I don't know what a calm came over and I was just like you know what whatever happens happens and I just relax and boom, coughed it up. I was gasping to breathe, but it coughed up. And then I was just like, okay, well, then whatever with the targeting. You know, I'm either getting targeted really bad one day or I don't wake up or I wake up. I can't even worry about the repercussions of it. I ask questions like, what does it do to my organs and stuff? Because when you're asleep, the frequencies pass, it pass through your whole body. So, <clears throat> it's not a normal process. So in the long run, what does it do? Like, does it affect your pancreas, your liver, your kidneys? But well, it has to do something. And it's like, well, whatever happens, I'm not going to get medical. Well, I mean, I would really consider the medical treatment, but I'm not going to worry about it. But I know it does happen. Now, the one thing that does happen is um, I do get direct targeting to um, to my heart, and um, so what I will get is because no one's following me, I'll get what I call front followers. People that will pop out out of the blue, and bam, there they are. So anyways, <coughs> so anyways, um, one thing that, um, um, I do get, as I was saying, is I do get direct targeting to my heart. 
I've gotten that a lot. And where you feel pressure. And I think since I moved into 402, it hasn't happened yet. It'll happen though. But in two and five at work, mm, used to get it. So over time, I'm sure it does some kind of damage to your heart muscles. So I can't really do much about it except to talk about it. And um, so that's basically what happens. Um, I do have bad knees, but because I've gained weight, I'm sure that makes it worse. And once I lose it, um, it'll make it better. I'll still have that problem, but it will be better. So, um, that's one thing. And then I get targeted in the arms. And I think it's in specific places in my arm. <coughs> it's not where the joints are. So I assuming that they're going for the um, arteries. That's what I'm thinking. <coughs> That's from frequencies to the lungs. And that's another reason why I need to walk is because um, at least I'm able to, after a while I've been walking, it seems like whatever is in my lungs, I'm able to cough up. Probably not everything, but oh, we're on Venice and Santa Monica, going back to my place. So whatever I'm coughing up, um, is probably okay so the guy the guy in that motorcycle I see him a lot he goes up and down and he has those the reason why his um, helmet stands out to me with the red like wing is because I have an older YouTube video when I was driving down St. Andrews and I was getting targeted from the headlight of a motorcycle with a guy that had a helmet just like him. Now I've seen the actual motorcycle before in this area so I don't know if the guy either works or lives here. And um but definitely, um, I get frequencies. So anyways, and then I'll get people like this that don't want to, I'll just stand here. <coughs> because usually on Santa Monica, I will get, um, there's more traffic. But anyways, um, yeah, so I do get a lot of that. Yeah. But yes, anyways, there is an older video that does show um, the targeting coming from the motorcycle. And then, I, of course, I did a tweet. So... That's basically what happened. So there's a guy standing off to my right. I'll see if he follows. <clears throat> and then I think the girl in front that was over there on um, Van Ness and Santa Monica, I believe she lives in my apartment building.
This is another one example of just sitting in the car until you come out. So, here's another one. There's another one just sitting in the car. So, anyways, that's what happened. And hi, Mom. Oh, yeah, she went into the apartment building. So, it was someone from the Derby. And that happens a lot. But it is what it is. And there's not much I can really do about it. <clears throat> this guy's on his phone in the um yeah. So I'm already back to my apartment building and there's usually somebody there. I hate when they stand there and like if they're trying to get in. That's like the only thing is when they're trying to get in and stuff. It's like, what are you doing? See, she doesn't, she doesn't have a key. Thank you.